Okay, let's see here. Might be good. I already have burst fire, just increases my rate of fire. Let's see, some more. It adds three round bursts as well, I think. Good uh, shot. Take it, I guess. Oh, it's much more powerful all of a sudden. How powerful? Powerful all of a sudden. the uh, tracking effects of this one piece as well. Oops, oops. No, no, no. Don't hit me. No. Uh, all around good. Sometimes I'll save them up the upgrade points, and sometimes I won't. So this time I won't. So I'm like spending it immediately, I guess. I don't know. Um. Really cool one does the big explosion like that. the amount of shield it has. Look, it goes away immediately. But it's even worse than last time. What the heck? It was just really bad after coming back to it for a while. Jeez. <coughs> You'll just try split shot again. Because it goes over it with the man. Yes. Railgun. I don't know. Uh, or I could do missiles. Missiles are always cool. Deal to missiles. Um, grenades. I don't know. They're, they're all cool. Um, also interesting. Thermal lances. Pretty interesting too. That's what the pink enemy had is the thermal lance that deals burning damage as well. Uh, but I'll do more dual lasers because it's cool, I guess. Uh, the orbital is an interesting one, too. Um, it's the shield that it had, too. The, the pink one had a, a lesser version because you gotta have a ship one, not a uh, other one. Uh, but I'll do like why can't I find my other ship that I like it? Um, 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 this one's an interesting one. This, is, this one's an interesting one. I, don't know. I might do it uh, its own uh, run for it. The thrusters deal damage. Which you may have seen uh, there was like on the this hex, but with the the wild mods, there's one that looks like a 
a, a ship like this that has like fireballs coming out the back of it. That's a mod almost specifically for this sort of thing. Hope Breaker's just interesting too. I've done that one a couple times. Um, I'll just do the research body, I guess. This one. Thrusters launch fireballs that deal burn damage. This one stacks pretty nicely too. Uh, it eventually becomes like get like six of them or something. It does a lot of damage. And it all stacks over and over and over again. This is the one I always keep looking for. Uh, the battery body. It fires in out the sides, like where these little points are on the end, sort of. Fires out of those. Instead of forwards. Which is definitely an interesting combination. If you ask me. Um, do some basic upgrades. Does this do blast damage? Quote unquote blast damage. Not really. Um, it's a very cool a laser thing. It's very built for just like charging up the enemy so it compounds. I feel like it's a long more almost. Ooh. Cutting the grass. Does not do a lot of damage from the very end. You get sniper though it fixes it and it does the opposite where the, the end ones deal the most damage. So. Or even fire, so it's not that bad. So, so, so the unique thing about this specific body is that my mods just in general cost you now. That's interesting. You can banish mods for an amount of money. Or not money, <laughs> what am I saying? Amount. You can use rerolls to banish things for an increased 1% uh, home and shields for each reroll spent by banishing. Oh, for each reroll spent by banishing. So it's not specifically just the mod itself. It used to be that it was for each mod banished, not for each reroll spent by banishing. Um, yeah, anyways. Um, this is a negative size, and it banishes all mods off of you. However, this y used to affect this, uh, but now it doesn't because this one's for each reroll spent by banishing. And you don't spend rerolls to get this. You get more rerolls from getting this, to be fair. But, but um, when it says banishes, it means that any of the, like the original upgrades, like these ones. Um, 
these will all go away for the rest of the run. Um, if it's a wild mod, it'll go away for a little while, and then it'll come back, because the wild mods just work that way, I guess. I don't know. Um, if it's a rare wild mod, I don't think it comes back. Or if it's a, if it, if it, I think it's, if it's a recursive one, it'll come back. But I don't know. Specifically, because I haven't looked at wiki or whatever. I don't, if, if there's a wiki or not, I don't know. But, um, yeah, that's that. Um, so I'm going to banish this one instead. Uh, let's see here. It's interesting. It's interesting too. It's recursive, so it should come back. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not gonna go up the ally path in this, so I can just banish that or banish the turret. Um, it does re-roll them as I do it, which is sort of interesting. This one has just constant thrust. I'm not gonna do that. So re-rolling. Uh, now I'm gonna do turret specialist, but it does spend re-rolls, and that's good, bad, whatever. Generation, and I'll take fire, and I'll take increased, even more increased targeting. I think. Yeah. Dodge is too much. You have short range stuff, so. Basically, you can't get close at all. Why those things suck? This. Yeah, this sucks against that. It's weird, it literally got so close that it wouldn't fire. It was too close. It's weird. I've seen that. I need more damage of, like, any type. Um, it's made of rate of fire, though. Um, we'll do... Back, I guess. Um, I don't usually take this one, but I kind of need it. Now, maybe I don't do this, I guess. Increases rate of fire, though. It's not ideal, but this one has such a high rate of fire at this point. Feels like it's projectiles cloaked <laughs> on the ship. good. Let me forget that I have it again, because <laughs> that's what happened last time. Yeah. Oh, it has a thermal blade if you leave the lab. But it just basically pulses in your face for a little while. Really need to decide. This one already. There's the opening. There is the opening. On the side, is it? 
You can see the second stage of it. Let me upgrade real quick. This, and then. I could do this actually, it wouldn't be bad, super bad for this one. But I'm not firing, so. Bubbles. I'm not gonna fire backwards, that's a bad mod, I just don't like it at all. Is either. Oh, wait, sniper. Let me get that. More, uh, on impact, your projectiles deal more total damage based on their distance from you and velocity. Velocity increases the distance they go before they expire. It's nice. Um, I'm not going to get burst for this. This would defeat the purpose, more or less. Um, that. Oh, I got the levels, so now I'm going to be humongous. I, for I did indeed forget that I had this again. Cool. Like, why do I have so many upgrades all of a sudden? This is interesting. Or no, uh, this is interesting with this body. But I'm not going to take it for this one. Because every time I take it, it ends up being like, you have the default ship. Um, but you don't. You just get better firepower, but your ship just goes down in health gradually. gradually. And I don't really want that. So We need more health for my ship. So I'm going to take Oh, please. Uh, let's see here. Um, I can take mines. Um, this, then I'll take. Um, Splinter, maybe? No. Or not, then Centenary is good. There's all around better. Oh, 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 oh. I didn't notice that I was taking damage because I was more this now. I get outside of it this time. This is a very interesting attack in that you can actually dodge it by just going off screen. And then going back. And it speeds up. Oh my gosh, I'm so heavy now because I took so many levels. It's the size of myself. Ugh, I don't have enough speed. That heavy thing. I need to get some sort of thrust increase. Um, like that, that should do some slightly better. Well, you know, I should have done that the other way. Oh, come back. I'm too heavy. Ooh, this is good. Always take it, no matter what kind of thing you have, unless you aren't doing a no weapon build or just constructs. Uh, let's see here. Um, this, and. I might actually try this because it sounds kind of interesting. Uh, ban this every time I see it, but not this time. That's weird. Interesting. Definitely really weird. My shield go. Lucid, I think. That is. The concentrated version is very odd. Ooh. 
quit firing, seriously. Okay, I need... Slightly better shields. There's a lot of knockback, I don't like the knockback. Weird, but I don't like the knockback that it has because it makes it now. Anything to increase my speed. I need it. Hey, look, thrust. That's better. Slightly. Need a whole bunch of projectiles, I guess. this just because it's just too heavy to do anything about anything. Actually, that goes but good. Uh, um do you do fire damage? I do do fire damage. Because burn damage is all right, but I need more defense as well. Did that poorly. Uh, I'm gonna end the recording here and make a new one. And, well, it doesn't really matter actually because it's just gonna cut them up anyway, so I guess I'll just keep playing. Missiles this time, I think. Missiles is interesting. Well, you can't even see it right now, but down here it shows you can only fire them all at once and regenerates when you're not firing based on your rate of fire specifically. I can If you want to pause the, uh, the, the video and read that, you can, but basically it's um, when you fire, you fire the entire thing, um, the heat seek or whatever, and um, it's based on your rate of fire. Really nice one for just being across the map and being like, whoop, you need to aim. <laughs>
Okay. I'll do... Let's do for reflect again. I'm best with reflect. Uh, I'm best with the reflect one. Um, let's see here. Maybe the battery body, but it doesn't matter for this one because you don't really have to aim with this, so it's not necessary. Do the research body I think, again, I think. Because it'll give me more pollen shields. That's sort of what I need for this. an achievement, I think, for firing like 200, 400 missiles at a time. Right? And a fire up increase, why don't that? The best thing about the missiles is this does, this does not really reflect in this, because it fires them all at once. So this is just... I think... I think... Yeah, it should just be a plus 20% firing. Yeah. So my reload, bleh, my reload speed is higher. Nice. The Halo Shield. It's because I could have saved up the missiles longer that way, so they're just dodging me. So. Uh, increased targeting it doesn't really matter so much with this one. It, it does some, but not a lot for it to matter. Uh, I'm gonna ban it now. Curses did it. A uh, run with the allies that had missiles. That could be interesting. I don't know if I'm going to do it or not. No, no, I'll just get a regular upgrade for now, I guess. Gen's always nice, just in general. I should have real I don't use this very very often, if at all, because it requires you to press another key. When you're used to just firing pressing two keys, and it's just I'm a lazy person, whatever. Uh no, I will never take that. Well, I might if I have to. There's some uh there's some builds that rely on dealing yourself damage for things, but I'm not really that much about it. I could take that, because I'm not firing most of the time. Yeah, I'll take that. Power-ups give you increased rate of fire, it's really nice. Uh, specialist. It gives increased ally projectiles. I decide 